Welcome to Your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 1352. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing a book but you need some help getting it done, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, look for Christine Inc., I-N-K, like that stuff we write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 21 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they can turn someone who barely sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. Innovation is taking two things that exist and putting them together in a new way. Tom Freston, co-founder of MTV. And once again, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. If you're a long time or even recent listener of the show here, you know that I've been talking about the potential impact of artificial intelligence on authors and writing and creating in general. Believe it or not, what has become a three-part series so far with today being part four was completely unplanned. That's right. It is simply the outcome of what has been capturing my attention and my interest and therefore generating a consistent flow of questions and ponderings. And as always, I figure if, as an author, a topic is on my mind, there's a good chance it will be on the minds of other authors as well. So as always, be sure and check the show notes for links to the first three parts of my AI and authors series. And here is my latest pondering. And it's in response to the fear that artificial intelligence and machine learning technology will completely replace creatives, artists, and perhaps the arts entirely, including us as writers. After all, you know, we're talking about algorithms whose sole purpose it is, by design, to repurpose individual pieces of what already exists, including words and images. So what's to stop them from stealing our work and turning it into something else? Well, for one, there's copyright and trademark laws, which I won't even attempt to tackle without the assistance of an expert, so stay tuned for a February interview here on the show with creative law expert Catherine Goldman. But outside of the legalities, what is to stop AIs from stealing our words and turning them into something else? Well, I think the question here might be more aptly, who is to stop them? And the answer has nothing to do with lawyers or government authorities or any other sort of regulatory bodies. The answer is a combination of us as artists and our audiences, in our case, our readers. And now, with this technology very much in play, we might also think of them as end users. Because let's face it, ChatGPT is expanding and absorbing data and expanding some more so quickly that it seems to be crashing on a regular basis. It's growing so fast. Oh, and before I forget, on next week's AI and Authors installment, I will share the results of a little ghostwriting experiment I did on ChatGPT. But back to my point about the responsibility shared by us and our readers to keep human arts alive. And to view artificial intelligence as what it is designed to be, a tool to complement and automate the original uniquely human work that we do. Say that again. Artificial intelligence is designed to be a tool to complement and automate the original uniquely human work that we do. Because if we get stuck in the knee-jerk, media-based reaction that AI is purely a threat, humanity is screwed, we might as well just wave the white flag to our new alien overlords, that we, you know, that that won't do ourselves or the vast audience of people out there who do want to continue enjoying human creativity, that's not going to do us any favors. And if some of those same people also want to enjoy the benefits of AI, you know what, that's fine. But it's up to us to ensure that they know the difference that there is a clearly delineated difference. And as artists, through the example we set through our work, we can show them. We can show them the difference between original human ideas and repurposed elements of, of separate ideas glued together. And yes, as the technology progresses, the glue will get harder and harder to see. The separate ideas will smooth out. But unless I'm missing something major here, those ideas will still never be rooted in the human experience and human imagination. You know, this has been the story of innovation and creativity throughout history. People were creating and producing things a certain way. An innovation cycle came along. They were forced to create differently and most managed to do so and life went on. 
and nearly every time the media, so to speak, even before it existed, said the same thing. This is it. This is the end of humanity, of creation, of art, of original thought. Pack it up. Oh, well, it was nice being a human being while it lasted. They say that every time. We can educate our audiences by showing them the difference between this particular type of innovation and human work, by protecting our work, elevating it, by taking the time to learn what the quote unquote competition is doing and finding ways to differentiate. You know, traditionally published authors have always had this requirement placed on them to be able to articulate why their book is different than others like it. Making distinctions isn't necessarily a marketing function. It can also be a tool that you can use to elevate your own game, make you think more deeply about a subject and trigger better insights. So thinking of your own work as a writer and your audience, what can you bring that an AI cannot? What do you want to tell your audience about the human experience and how can you do it through your work? Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Please drop by my Inc. Authors group on Facebook to chime in on this episode, maybe chime in on the whole AI series so far, since I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. We also offer motivation, accountability, book writing, publishing resources, and more. The link to Inc. Authors is always in the show notes, as well as today, the links to all the rest of the AI episodes so far. (laughs) Until tomorrow, happy writing.